Hi Virgo, welcome to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is your July Love Reading Virgo and it's going to cover the month of July. If you haven't already, you must subscribe to my channel and click the little bell below because I'm going to be doing your additional love readings Virgo in the middle of the month. So if you want any... Um, if you want uh, to know when the, those videos are being posted, um, obviously you, you need to just subscribe and, and it'll give you notifications. Um, in the next seven days, I'm also going to be going to be putting out your bi-weekly general reading for the month for the next two weeks in July. So again, please make sure you return to the channel to check that out or press the bell for notifications. Okay, so I'm going to draw the first three cards for you, Virgo. The second three cards for the person or the situation that's coming towards you in the month of July. And I've already shuffled the cards, obviously, and I had a, um, I had a jumper, but I it wasn't that one. Um, and I but I, it was him actually, King of Cups was the jumper. So hopefully he might come out again, but we'll see. I always put them back and say, listen cards, if you wanna, if you wanna be in the reading, you have to make yourself shown, okay? So let's see then what Virgo, oh, ready, what Virgo can expect um, in the month of July. So we've got the Hierophant, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, and we've got the Three of Cups, lovely. Then the energy or the situation around you is here and i will pull some cards for outcome as well okay i'm going to try to keep the video to around 20 minutes even though i never can but i'm going to try because i'm getting hungry um and this is the time so you can see six or six. Oh, it's a portal baby it's a portal to new love that's what this is it's balance in love that's what that number is that's good okay um that's good that's wisdom that's balance so let's see how the cards um relate to that okay the hierophant is um card number five in the major arcana and it is related to the sign of taurus so some of you could be dealing with the taurus we've got more earth energy here um but obviously you're an earth sign anyway now this is tradition this this card in this instance and this is it is about traditional relationships so you could be in a traditional relationship or you could be could have been single let me just clarify for you gosh we've had a, we've had quite a few of this actually eight of swords so some of you may have entered july newly single you could have just maybe separated from um a long-term partner a committed partner you know someone that you were married to for example or someone that you shared a home with a, had a mortgage with um there might have been um there could have been some difficult energy for you guys for the two of you for your for you and your partner in the past couple of um, weeks or months um and you're going to be walking away from that energy it doesn't mean away from the relationship for some of you it may but it means you're going to be walking away from that energy you seem to come into july with the eight of cups energy which means that you're ready to stop the the sadness and the hurt and and stop feeling that now and to move on and to move forward and to really be a master really of those emotions virgo like you are now this card is is, is really um resonant with you isn't it virgo you know you're the workers you know you you are diligent um virgo um and, and you're attentive and this is what this card is about it's about your diligence and your attentiveness and, and your focus into into mastering your um relationships and into being in the type of relationship that you really see for yourself now the only thing i would say about this card is it's about you know not being we're not always in control um in our lives period you know we're never in control you could be that type you could be a fatalist like that and be that type of, you know see it that way but you know we're not always in control in our lives and the only thing that we can do is the only thing that we can be responsible for is our actions are the things that we put our energy into so i would say for those for some of you because there has been there seems to be some sort of residual um <laughs> the, the term that came to mind is bad mouthing some residual bad mouthing as some, some residual um you know not nice treatment really um between you and somebody else potentially and it's like that energy is 
you you cannot be in control of what somebody else does. You can only be in control of your words, of your actions, of the things that you, of your thoughts, of your feelings to an extent. I mean, trying to control your feelings is actually quite difficult. Um, I would not recommend it. It's not good for our healing. Allow the feelings to flow. I think that's what needs to happen, really. I think there needs to be an opening up um, for you, Virgo, um, with whether it's whether it's with a partner or whether it's just with yourself, whether it's about acknowledging, you know, your emotional state and your emotional, the emotional plane that you're on. Um, this is coming through actually quite randomly. Um, <laughs> this is just coming through like this. Um, but yeah, it's about being able to put work into yourself and in, uh, and not necessarily self improvement but but really just be being um the, the diligence that you apply to your work and to other people and to your relationships apply that to yourself um virgo because i think that you've you've really that self love and self nurturing hasn't really been something that that's been evident and present and it could have been because of other people in your life but it hasn't really been evident for you you know, this is the energy that you're moving into. You're moving into this this three of, of, of cups energy in July. Um, three of, you know, cups are about our emotions and three of cups is about a celebration of coming together. It could be a reunion. You know, you could have separated from somebody um, and then you could be coming back with that person, but it doesn't have to specify that. You know, the three of cups could um, really just be a celebration of self, a celebration of love for yourself, a celebration of understanding of yourself, a celebration of recognising your hard work, your energy, your effort, and what that brings into your life. It's about re it's about cause and effect for you this, this month. It's about realising, if I do this, this is my outcome. If I do that, this is that is my outcome. So think about what do I want to put in and what do I want to get out. You know, if you want honesty from a relationship, for example, then you've got to have you've got to give that to, to receive that. You can't expect someone to be totally honest with you if you're not going to be totally honest with them. You can't expect somebody to treat you with compassion, i.e., accept you for who you are, um, flaws and all if you are not willing to show that person the same compassion by accepting them for who they are, flaws and all. So, you know, but but there's a kind of celebration, it's not moving into this energy. It's about, it's actually quite exciting. Uh, you, you know, there could be some exciting times, people could be getting married, some of you could be um, going to parties, getting together with people you've not seen in a while. It's as if your head has been down, uh, as in for, in, as in focus, you've been focusing on your work or on a specific relationship or on a specific area of your life. And maybe in June, you're sort of letting your hair down a little bit. You know, obviously teachers, you're going to be, I'm an ex-teacher, aren't I? So, I mean, I'm officially still a teacher. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, we know two more weeks and it's going to be, it's going to be over. So, you know, it could be a reason for celebrating in that respect, those teachers out there. Um, but yeah, it's like the... I, I really feel like you're really seeing your worth. You're really seeing, like, what it is you can offer, what it is you, you do offer to people and to things. And that's really, really positive. Okay, let's look at the um situation or the energy of the people or a uh, person around you. Okay. So the first card we get is the Tower card. Now, the Tower card for me... Check, you can see all these cards, yeah. The time card for me is a real, the emotional experience of the Ace of Cups, okay? It's emotionally overwhelming, um, it's a surprise, it's a shock, and it's one that leads us to where the path that we should be on. So, you know, sometimes in in in, a, in, a, um, in life, we walk these paths and we, 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 we think, oh, I need to do this job because, you know, I need to pay this and i need to be able to I, you know i want to be respected i want to have a certain level blah 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 whatever but you know it's not like what well, it's not what makes you actually happy and you know um with the tower card the tower card shifts you off any path or or shifts you from any relationship that is not serving you and is not serving your higher your um higher purpose okay and your higher self and your personal power if a situation that you're in or the other person coming into your life um, is in is, is not serving their higher purpose and higher power and um, that's going to be something that shifts this month i'm going to clarify this card because i had a a thought and a feeling about um choices between two people 
it's as if uh, maybe you meet someone who's already in a relationship or you're already in a relationship and you want to get with this person. Um, there's an element of that for some reason, which I wouldn't actually ordinarily um, pick up on Virgo. But yeah, there's like, there's like something happening. Uh, we've got the nine of nine of swords you know this is a, a, that card is sad a sad card you know uh this is a card of feeling trapped being trapped feeling thinking that you are trapped but it's it's really a torturous card because it's it's as if we torture ourselves with this card we really stop having compassion for ourselves it's funny that i just said something about compassion isn't it this person when we experience the eight of wands it's a cycle of i don't want to say depression i want to say more um of self doubt of self um it's a cycle of self-loathing is a little bit strong but it's as if for, you know it's like if you feel i don't know it's like for example if you did some long if you did something to hurt somebody and you felt guilty about that you might punish yourself by for example telling yourself horrible things about yourself in your mind or um you know refute you know really not taking care of yourself so not really eating very well or not really you know nurturing yourself that's what this energy is with the um eight of swords it's as if either this person coming into your life this situation coming into your life it's as if um there's there's a there's a lot of guilt around around the tower so it it, it really could be the breaking, the ending of, of, of two relationships, your relationship and this person's relationship. It could be that, you know, you're in a relationship, Virgo, and you want to you want to end that relationship and be with somebody else. Or the or this other person's in a relationship and this other person's marriage, for example, and they want to be with you. And, you know, when that happens... Listen, you love who you love. And I think sometimes we overcomplicate things, you know. We overcomplicate things in our lives. We, we, we try to... Um, we go through things like this and it's it's an archetype which means this is what people feel and it's normal that people feel like this but and it's normal that we treat ourselves like this at times but sometimes it's like we really torture ourselves whoever you love be with you know i think sometimes we torture ourselves and we stay in these relationships when when it isn't for our highest good and it's not helping anyone it's not helping the, the it's not helping our spouse our current spouse or it's not helping our, our current our children or whatever it's not helping anyone if we stay in a relationship where we're miserable and not happy it's not good for anybody so there could be a bit of guilt around it about a guilt of be, feeling restricted in the relationship that you're in or in the situation that you're in and you you have to apply this to your situation this could all apply to you and your your current partner or this could could, could all apply to you or this could all apply to him or this could all apply, to, just apply it how, how it how it stands okay there's a real want though of this which is a new a new beginning and this could be the beginning of a new relationship with the ace of pentacles it could be the beginning of a new long-standing solid relationship it could be a rebirth of a, of a relationship between yourself virgo and somebody else that you've been with previously uh it doesn't feel like a rebirth well i mean you know we've got in fact we've got that so it could be a rebirth a reunion but um you know this person could have left you you know, earlier this year, they could have dumped you, for example, and then they, you know, it could be your husband or it could be your wife or it could be someone that you've with for a very long time. They dumped you, it came as a shock, but they hated it and now they're coming back into your life in July. So there's a couple of different scenarios, but kind of try, if I give you every single one of them, I'll be here all day. Um, but this is a, a new a new offer, a new solid offer uh, um, coming in. Aces are beginnings of things. So the beginning of, it's the beginning of something. And this is the beginning of something solid. And it's something that's inspired. Sometimes people are inspired to give others a chance. I'm inspired to give you a second chance. I'm inspired to give you a helping hand. This is what this type of energy is is about, okay? Um, I'm inspired to move towards you and to be with you. And, and so that's what that ace is about, you know? And then we've got the nine of pentacles here. So this is, again, the person or the situation around you. Some of you could be, um, you know, this person could be extremely independent. Sorry, I feel like I'm speaking really fast now. Um, this person could be very independent um, with the nine of pentacles could be an earth sign which is your energy obviously Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn 
um or it or it doesn't have to be um some of you could actually though be with a taurus because we've got a lot of pentacles and we've got the hierophant um but anyway you're an earth sign so you know that that's maybe why they, they're appearing like that um you know with nines again it's about overcoming the challenge of the amount the workload that you've been putting in and the effort that you, that you have been putting in or that they've been putting in the person coming towards you and feeling like you've mastered those things so it links actually quite nicely with your energy um of the eight of pentacles that's above so there seems to be a mastering of of, of energy this month virgo for you in love you know whether or not um you know there's a there's, there's a real strength coming through these cards so a decision it feels like a decision is being made i need to clarify these two cards together because that's what needs to happen i just get that feeling that sense so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to pick a couple of clarify a, a couple of outcome cards 16 minutes and then that's it okay so let's just um I want to pick that one. There we go. That's really fab. Okay. This is what I wanted to... I, sometimes I clarify two cards together and these cards wanted to be clarified together. Um, and the card that came out to clarify, Taurus, is the four of... What's that? Wand. Four of wands. Okay. So that's excellent. This is, um, you know, marriage and, and security and stability moving toward that. Having a stable foundation for your family, for your relationship. Um, and for the relationship that you want to go in. So it coincides actually really, really nicely with these cards. You know, some of us are moving out of this feeling. Some of you and, and the person that's coming towards you or the situation that you're in, you're moving out of this energy. You're moving away from this energy. Um, and even if it feels challenging and difficult and, and hard and you hate yourself, and please don't hate yourself, please please if no one else loves you in this world you've got to love you okay um but it seems like you're moving out of this energy or the situation that you're in is the energy is moving on from that and it's as if we're moving toward this which is really really positive with the four of um with the four of wands here um about our um about our foundations and about having a happy and stable foundation one that is passionate one that we are drawn to, one that we are excited about. So for some of you, if you if it is ending a relationship, they've ended their relationship, you've ended your relationship, whatever the situ, um, you know, to be together, then it was the right thing. And I think that sometimes you even if sometimes you hurt other people and you don't do it on purpose, you know, but you've you've really as I said, if no you've got to look after you. You've got to look after your heart and your soul and, and 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 nurture that and have as much compassion for other people as you do for yourself you know i showed this to another sign the other day you know these are the the precepts the reiki precepts you know i always say i'm a reiki master and tarot reader and these are really the rules that i live by every single day and that i'm mindful of every single day and the one when i was doing my reiki practice my training I've got my certificates here as well. When I was doing this, is my master's. I did. You have to do three levels. This is my master's. Okay, so I I I own this. I did this, and when um they uh level one, we had to learn. Uh, we had to start going through this with at the beginning, and we had to do our meditations. And I had to live with with these rules, and the one that I found the most difficult was about being compassionate towards myself, not with other people. I was fine. I had maybe too much compassion in some in some respects for other people and for other people's feelings to the point where I didn't want to say how I felt because I didn't want to upset other people, that type of thing. But I learned that there's about balance, which which is what we need in life. You have to be compassionate toward yourself. You have to show yourself love. You have to show yours. You have to accept yourself. You have to accept what it is you want. You have to accept what it is you feel, even if sometimes that might hurt other people. Because if you don't look after you and your health and your well-being, no one else is going to do that. Now, that doesn't mean you go around, you know, pardon my friend, shitting on people and, and, and telling people, um, call, you know, going, oh, whatever, I don't care. No, it doesn't mean you do that. You've got to have equal, balanced compassion between them 
and you between yourself and other people there's got to be that balance so you can't live your life just to make other people happy so it looks like some of you are walking away from from a relationship and beginning a new one and it looks like that's going to be something that's solid let's just pick um i just want one outcome card actually i feel like it's this one and it's a choice to be made with the two of with the two of swords but really with the two of swords i always notice the water in the background she knows what she she's already decided, made her decision with the two of wands with the two of wands it's a case of you know what you want you know and it's hard sometimes because as i said there's other people and they'll get hurt if you do what you want to do but if you don't do what you want to do you're going to be miserable for what you think that's good for you you think that's healthy for you because already you're feeling that already you're telling yourself that you're a horrible person already you're telling yourself that already you're not eating enough already you 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 you're torturing yourself you, you know already you're doing that so if you continue to live in that situation that's just unhappy for you in a marriage that you don't want to be in or if this other person does then what are you what are you gaining from that oh well it's all right if i'm miserable because she's happy or because he's happy no that's not that's not that's not what the universe wants for you you know and it, it's like it's like it's like tension and it, and it just creates more and more tension in your life if you if you don't follow what's in your heart and what you want so it's about making a decision and um, i'm going to just that's on the bottom by the way just so you see it ten of cups there uh, i'm just going to pull one more for outcomes okay it's about making a decision um can we just have one more just to maybe clarify this decision potentially or not that i can tell you what to do in your life but this card wanted to fall out so let's have it fall out wheel of fortune okay this is this is how we'll leave it card of change card of um Oh, look at what's on the bottom. Two of Cups. You know, you've got to apply this to your situation. It could be that you had an affair and that you, or you cheated on your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you regret it and you want to just, and you want to change your relationship with them now. You think, do you know what? I can be more committed to you and I'm really, really sorry. I understand that I love you, etc., etc. It could be that. Or it could be that you're ending a relationship and that you, um, or a marriage because you do want to either be by yourself be single by yourself or you want to be in a relationship with somebody else you know either way there's change coming for you virgo uh, for some for the virgos that i'm speaking to now remember um with the wheel of fortune it's about we've already you've already tried you've already been, been working on it you've already been putting effort into it you've already been putting energy into it the marriage the relationship or it's staying away from someone you've really tried to do that and it hasn't worked you know this month is about making a decision and about the universe and if you don't want to make that decision the universe is going to do that for you with the tarot card and with the wheel of fortune because the universe wants what's best for you and as well if you're in a relationship that you're not happy in the other person isn't emotionally fulfilled either your partner isn't even if they think they are they know if, if someone doesn't want to be with you, you know. Yeah, surely? I think so. I don't know. Maybe some people are really just good at lying. Remember, I don't lie. Be honest with your dearest people. So I try to live by that rule. I, I try to live by all of them. Um, I I want you to comment, Virgo, because it's a, it, this is quite a, a quite a heavy reason, actually, for some people, but... The, the the strange thing is the themes are heavy but the energy is not the energy is actually quite light it's so the energy is one of change and is one of raised vibrations that's what the energy is for virgo for july it's one of change it's one of it's one of new it's one of it's one of enlightenment becoming enlightened changing the, the path that you're on um if, if whether you've been single for a long time and you just want to and you want to meet someone that can definitely happen for you this this in july but remember it's about you also working with the universe in order to bring that through you've got to take the blindfold off lay down the swords and walk forward walk into your future walk toward the things that you want okay i hope that was helpful for you virgo let me know in the comments actually 
you know how you feel about it because the additional love reading if you want me to look at something specific or something ask a specific question for example if you put your suggestions below in and, I, and i'll have a look through them and see um for your additional if i can apply for that let me know if it resonates obviously like and, and all that stuff subscribe blah 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 i don't need to say that you you always do anyway you'll always like you always subscribe you always comment which is brilliant but i'm just saying if you want anything specific with the additional love reading it might be a good idea to ask that question as well okay thank you so much virgo have a wonderful july and i'll be seeing you in a few days with your bi-weekly readings okay take care virgo thank you bye